In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you this trick in which you see a person on top of words or crossing letters. For this tutorial, we are going to need a Canva Pro account, meaning a paid account. Although, if you have a Canva free account and want to be able to do this trick, I left an affiliate link so you can try Canva Pro for 30 days at no cost. Hello, my name is Diana Munoz. I am a Canva certified creative and an online instructor. If you want to learn more about Canva and not miss next week's video in which I'll show you three free Canva tools that you probably don't know, episode two, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so you don't miss any new tutorial. Now, are you ready for this tutorial? Let's go to my computer. Okay, so now we are here on my computer and I have two designs that I'm going to teach you in this tutorial. So first we are going to create this one, which is a little bit more difficult, I will say, than the second one. This is the second design that we will see in this video. So let's go. Let's try to recreate this first design. So let's add a new page. And now, how did I come up with this design? First, I came here to the templates category. Let's open here. And I used one of Canvas templates. And it is this one that you see right here. I'll open the menu here so you can see the exact name for this tutorial. Maybe you can find it on your computer or your Canva account. And let's bring this uh, template here. So as you can see, I used these flower elements and the rest I deleted it. So let's take all the other elements and delete them. Okay, so also let's delete the background because I used a white background. Now I'm going to add this text box and the lady that is here on the bottom of the page. And now let's add a text box. So for this I will press the key T and now I have a text box and I will type yoga. For this trick it's very important that we select a bold font as you can see here, we're using Archivo Black and this will help us for this effect to look even cooler or look even better. So let's go and select Archivo Black for this font and make it big because we need to have enough space in order for this person to cross the arm between the letters. If we have a very reduced space, then we won't be able to create this effect. Okay, so let's change the color as well. So we have a very harmonious design. And now let's go to photos and let's try to find this photo right here. So I already have here the code that will help me find this photo. So you can type this code on your Canva account and you will find this set of photos. So let's try to find the photo that I used for this design. Okay, so it took me a while to find this photo again. Uh, I guess this photographer added a bunch of new different photos after I created this design, but you can find it with this keyword. So you find, you will need to type this code and then fitness, and then just scroll down and you will find it over here. So let's add this photo to the design. If you want, you can use this photo that I'm showing you guys here, or you can actually use one of your own photos. So that depends on you or even like any other photo that you find here on Canva. Okay, so now that you have your photo on your design, on your Canva design here, you would like to go here to effects. And if you have a Canva Pro account, you will have access to a background remover button. So let's click here and let's wait for Canva to do its magic and remove the background on this photo. 
Okay, so Canva already removed the background of this photo. If you still have some um, things in the background that you want to remove, just pay attention that in the background remover you now have an erase brush so you can erase the parts of the photo that you don't need. Okay, so let's continue. Now for this design, I will need to make this girl bigger because we want her to be able to cross the letter, right? Okay, next step is go to position, go back. You see that now she's behind the word, but now we don't see the same effect as we see here. You see that the hand is kind of like sticking out. It's like crossing the O and here we don't see the same effect. So what we are going to do is to select the image duplicate it and try to position it right on top of the other one and with these anchors we are going to crop the image like this you see and now we have this beautiful effect now i will teach you one more um, trick uh, we are going here to photos and we are going to type shadow Okay, so this one will work if you have a light color on your text. Let's add this shadow here. And now I will position this shadow somewhere here like this. Let's make it smaller and position backward like this. And you can even reduce the transparency just a tiny bit. And like this, we have a little shadow that creates a depth kind of effect or a 3D effect on this design, which I find really cool. It's just a little detail, but I think this makes a difference. So if you want to try it out, you can use this option. And before going to the second part of this tutorial, I will recommend you guys to watch a tutorial that I'm going to leave here. You can watch it after finishing this tutorial in which I show you how to create this torn paper effect, which is really trendy right now and really cool actually and really easy to create. So go watch it out after finishing this tutorial. Okay, so now let's uh, start recreating this design and let's start now. This one is actually, I will say, a lot easier than the previous one. So let's start. Let's add a new page and let's go to the templates section. If you know, I love to start creating or start designing from templates. I think they use really cool elements and I like to use them on my own designs. So uh, for this design, I used this one and this other design right here. So I'm going to kind of like mix some of these elements. Let's delete the elements that I will need. So as you can see here, I only used this flower element on the left part of the uh, Canva. Let's delete the background as well. And for this template, I only took this text box. So let's move it to this page here, like this, and delete this page because we don't need it anymore. Now let's position this text box backwards because we need it to be behind this flower element and let's create the other text boxes that we have in the design so we had one text box that says trendy and this one is all caps like this let's rotate this element 90 degrees and now we need to make or create another text box that says sports okay and we need to make it a little bit bigger so all the text boxes are kind of like on the same line like this okay 
Now let's change the colors of these text boxes. You can change them for any color that you have at the moment. And then we can change them again if you feel that these colors are not working quite well with your design. Next step is to find a photo like this one. If you want to find exactly the same photo, let's go to the photo section and you would like to type this. Okay, you see here brand and you see all these letters and then you type crouch and cut out. If you don't type these two keywords right here, you won't be able to find it or it will take you a lot of time to find this photo. So let's go. And the photo is right here. It took me a while to find it again. So that's why you need to type exactly the same that I'm showing you guys here. Okay. And now that we have our photo right here, next step is to flip it because if we leave it like this it won't look as nice as i have it in my head what i would like to have is for this design to look very 3d you know like we see a lot of layers in the design so if we leave her on the right hand side she will have an empty background and also some of the like this word exactly here this text box will be on top of her face which is not very nice so let's flip this image like this and i think i didn't mention this before but this photo is a pro photo as you can see here it's a cutout photo it already has its background removed which it saves us some time that is nice Okay, so let's do this magic right here. So as you can see, our photo is on top of everything. So we don't see this 3D effect. There is nothing happening over here. So what we need to do is to take this text box right here and position it to front like this. We already see this 3D effect happening over here. You can change the position of these elements so you are able to see this effect more easier. You see all the dimensions in the photo, which is really nice. And lastly, let's add a shadow. I love this shadow and I've been using it for a while now. I don't know if you have seen other of our tutorials. I like to use this shadow very often. It's a free element. And yeah, I like to flip it as well. So you see here, it kind of like goes with the leg. So it looks kind of like if it was the shadow of this leg. And now let's position it backward and backward again. So it is behind the leg of this girl. And we see more of this 3d effect if you would like to have this shadow a little bit more transparent you can adjust here the transparency of the shadow and lastly another thing that i would like you guys to apply on these kind of designs is for you guys to use the photo colors so for example this purple right here on this flower element i think could be a color that goes better with the design here so let's go here to the purple color and let's change it you see here we have photo colors and we can use the photo uh, the colors of the photo so the more prominent colors that we see here and let's use one of these and let's change this uh, purple again to this brown kind of color and the red for this pink and let's do the same for this text box let's use one of the colors of the photo <laughs> And like this, uh, slowly, slowly, this image or this design starts looking better or more harmonious. Okay, and that's it for these two designs. I would like to remind you also that next week I will show you 
three free Canva tools that you probably don't know yet and this is the episode 2 so if you haven't subscribed and you would like to get a notification subscribe and hit the bell button and by the way I would also love to know what you guys thought about this video tutorial if you learn anything new today let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and this will also help YouTube understand that you like this video and will push this video to other people that don't know this channel yet. And that's it for now. I wish you a nice day and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao!